Hi YouTube, this is a video on how to compose sheet music and type it into GarageBand. Uh, I'm going to show you how to, uh, if you've written music or if you want to learn how to write music, you can uh, put in notes and uh, for a certain instrument and add accessory instruments like drums to create a song. Um, I'll just show you first, um, I've used uh, GarageBand to compose my own song that I wrote on piano and um, that I typed in the, the notes here into the sheet music um, tool and it actually um, plays the notes that I write. And that's all my original recording. I'll show you how to do this. Um, if you look down at Apple Loops by clicking the uh, this I button right here, um, there are different instruments. I'm going to show you piano. Um, there are two types of loops. One is green and one is blue. You can see by the color right here. Um, you want to pick a green one because the green means it's editable and you would just drag it into your project. Um, now if you click that and uh, then you click if you're on Apple Loops and you drag that into your project then click the scissor button and it'll go to, uh, to editing. And um, it's going to start off like this and this shows notes, if you can see here, um, it's like a piano scale here. Uh, so you, this would show like for how long do you want each note to play, like that. But um, what allows you to have more capabilities is if you click um, right here, if you click the note, then it'll bring you to this. This is Sheet Music Editor, um, and it's really cool. Um, so let's say I just want to get rid of this. Uh, I'll start from scratch to show you uh, what I'm doing here. So I'm just selecting and uh, deleting right now. All right, so this is right here is the note selector. You can choose from, uh, if you're familiar with music, you know what you each of these notes means. Um, they're different. They're just for different lengths of time. Uh, if you want to add a note in, you select the type of note you want. So let's say I wanted a quarter note, and uh, you would hold down the command key. So um, if I'm just moving my mouse mouse around right now, then um, it wouldn't do anything. But if I hold down the command key, then it has the notes. So um, what I can do is I can put the note where I want it. I can um, if I select the note and then I move the up and down arrows, I can change the pitch of the note, which which note it is. And if I move from left to right, if I move from left to right, I can change where it is on the sheet music. As you see, it's on different uh, parts of the measure as I move it to the right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this here. So then you can also add in different notes under each other for chords. So if you play it, then um, you know it'll it'll play your sheet music. Um, also, you can change the pitch. You can change uh, the time signature, um, the tempo, all of that. Um, and if you want to make it simpler, if you can't read sheet music, then you can just do this, um, where you um, actually add the notes in like a like a, uh, a piano you would hold down option and then draw in a note here like that and you can also increase the time length by dragging it like this I'm sorry Let, let's drag this one out to change the length so now it would look like so I just added that note in um, so those are the two ways of doing music. I hope this was clear. If not, feel free to tell me and uh, I'll be happy to, uh, you know, redo the video if this didn't make sense. But I hope it did and I hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free and don't forget to subscribe and rate this five stars. Thanks so much and again, here's what you can do if you add sheet music to your project. Here's an example. Here's a different part for you to listen to. As you can see, the, 
uh, sheet music was written by me, as you can see on the bottom. You can also write, I wrote the bass part. You can write all different instruments. This is the bass part. Uh, you can also edit drum beats, like so. So you have much versatility with this. It's, it's pretty cool. Thanks a lot, YouTube, and uh, I hope this video helped.